guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a male chemistry experiment on chemical jellyfish as you can see i've got my gloves and safety glasses on so let's get started so we need a plastic tray a pin opener a petri dish copper sulfate iron chloride liquid glass mang manganese sulfate so first we have to open the petri dish which i've already done and then my mom has to open this liquid glass so i can pour it in. so we've opened the liquid glass bottle and i'm going to pour it in so i can spread it out easily So I've completely poured the liquid glass into the spectry dish. Now I'm going to spread it evenly. So we've opened the other bottles with the pin opener. And now I'm going to drop copper sulfate into it. Now we have dropped some of these solutions in and we're going to wait for 3 minutes. So it's been 3 minutes now and they've formed into jellyfish. Come closer. These are beautiful. The magnesium sulfate. And also the copper sulfates look good. The blue ones are copper sulfate and the brown ones are iron chloride and the white ones are magnesium sulfate. I like the blue ones and the white ones because they, they look like jellyfish but I didn't like the brown ones. They don't look like jellyfish. So I'm going to explain why jellyfish appear in liquid glass. As you break them into the petri dish, the solution droplets don't mix with the liquid glass. As you might expect, instead they remain isolated, forming these fascinating structures we call silicate jellyfish. You have to agree some of them look almost like the real thing that's interesting right so next i'm going to tell you why the drops don't dissolve in the lit in the liquid glass so it's primarily because of the viscosity of the sodium silicate solution so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll come back with another video bye